long before the big media frenzy that's going to happen today, O.J. Simpson is getting ready to go before the parole board in Nevada. Simpson wants to be released after serving more than eight years for armed robbery and assault with a weapon and kidnapping. He was busted trying to take back some sports memorabilia that he claimed was his. Fox 35 is going to bring you the hearing starting today at 1 o'clock. And joining us right now to talk about more about what we can expect today is attorney Whitney Bowen. Always great to see you, Whitney. Thanks for being here. Good to see you. Good morning. All right, so let's talk first about why we're making such a big deal about this particular parole hearing. It's not the first time he's had one. No, it is not. He had a parole hearing in 2013 where he was given parole relative to some of the offenses for which he was serving the sentence that he's still serving now. Okay, so why is this parole hearing a, perhaps a bigger deal than that one? The one in 2013 only related to four of the 12 offenses that he was convicted of back in 2008 related to that 2007 incident in that Las Vegas hotel room about the memorabilia that he said was his, but that uh, the individual who it was taken from or the individuals who it was taken from said was theirs. So. What's happened is that in 2013, he was given parole as to those four offenses, but he was serving consecutive sentences as to the other eight charges, which means that even though he got parole on the first four offenses, he still had more time to serve on the other eight. What will happen now is if he's granted parole, he's going to get out. So that's why it's a bigger deal now, because he'll be released from prison as opposed to then when he was still going to remain in prison. Okay, so what do you think is going to happen today? I think more likely than not he'll be granted parole. The criteria that the parole board looks for in Nevada deals with things such as his age, whether or not he has any significant criminal history, whether he had any criminal history before um, he was about 20 or so years of age. His only criminal history, his first arrest happened when he was 46 and that was for the Nicole Simpson, Ron Goldman uh, murders, but he was acquitted of that conduct. That is not even going to be considered by the parole board, interestingly, in determining whether or not he's granted parole in this robbery case. So I think more likely than not at this point, especially given the set criteria that they're supposed to consider, given that they've already weighed that and considered it in 2013 and given him parole, he's been a model inmate, he's likely to get released. All right, so Whitney, he still has that huge civil judgment against yes. him. That's not going away, I assume. No, that's only accruing interest. My understanding is that it's now gone from about 30 something million dollars to about 50 something million dollars oh, just wow. with the interest that's accrued during the time he's been in prison and since the judgment. And he has not paid on that from my understanding. Does he, is, is there nothing that forces him to pay on that? There are ways of enforcing payment on things uh, such as judgments even that large. We have mechanisms in Florida where, where there's a judgment entered against you. You can lose your privileges to drive. You can have your wages garnished. It's an interesting situation with him because from what's been said by some of his friends in the media is that he may come live in Florida actually. So yeah. it'll be interesting to see if there's any mechanism used under Florida law to try to enforce that judgment. Um, he gets pension and that's usually hard for anybody to use in terms of you're not really able to garnish pension right. from somebody in order to get your, re your recovery or your judgment. Right. But okay. if he makes any money off of any media deals or anything like that, I certainly think that's fair game. Sure, they'll go after that. Yeah, I heard his pension's only going to be 1700 a month from the NFL, which, right, not a lot. Okay, Whitney Bone, always great to talk to you. Thanks so much for being Thank here. Thank you. All right, good to see you.